Having a bloodshot or red eye can be pretty worrisome. If you're wondering what could cause this, stick around. Hi, I'm Dr. Nagori. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and a glaucoma specialist. Today, I wanna educate you on the different causes of having a sudden red eye. Quick reminder that this video is for education only and it is not meant to be medical advice. So if you are having a red eye, it is important to see your eye doctor to have a proper medical evaluation. Now first, let's discuss a red eye that is painful. Now, unfortunately, a painful red eye is a cause for concern and you really do wanna see an eye doctor as soon as possible if you are having redness, and pain. When an eye is red and painful, there are a few different eye problems that we worry about. One more common one that can cause redness of the eye as well as pain is a scratch on the cornea. This is also commonly called a corneal abrasion. Now you may experience this if you've had something hit the eye or maybe you were playing with your toddler or grandchild or a pet and then they struck you in the eye by accident. Sometimes patients also say that they wake up with it because maybe they had inadvertently scratched their eye or rubbed their eye when they were sleeping. Corneal abrasions can also happen in contact lens wearers when patients are struggling to get their contact lenses in or out of the eye. Now, along with the eye redness that comes on pretty quickly, you can also have intense pain, difficulty opening the eye, as well as light sensitivity. Now, the treatment for a scratch on the cornea is going to be an antibiotic eye drop, which you will need to be prescribed by a doctor. If you're unable to see an eye doctor right away, you can head to an urgent care center and they will also be able to prescribe you antibiotic eye drops. Now the purpose of these antibiotic eye drops is to actually protect the cornea while the abrasion heals in its own time. In some uncommon cases, a corneal abrasion can turn into a corneal ulcer, which is a much more serious eye problem because the scratch has now turned into a corneal infection. Another common cause of having a painful red eye that comes on pretty quickly is having something stuck under the eyelid up here or down here. In some of these cases, this can actually also lead to a scratch on the cornea, which we talked about earlier. This sometimes happens with some of my contact lens patients who get a piece of the contact lens stuck when they were struggling to take it in or out of the eye. And the doctor then in that case can flip your eyelid to check if it's stuck back there. Finally, another very concerning eye problem that comes on with a sudden onset painful red eye is something called angle closure glaucoma. In this situation, the eye pressure shoots up fairly quickly in the eye and makes the eye red and painful. It can also cause other symptoms like nausea, vomiting, blurry vision, as well as a headache. This is a medical emergency and should be evaluated in the ER as soon as possible. Now let's take a look at some of the causes of red eye that usually don't have pain. One common cause is dry eye. Dry eye can unfortunately make the eyes chronically red. While people do experience discomfort with dry eyes, they usually don't experience sudden severe pain. It is more of a chronic discomfort. There are many different ways to treat dry eyes with artificial tears being the most common first line option. Using preservative free tears at least four times a day can also help to improve eye redness over time. I have another video on this channel about why the get the red out eye drops may not be really that effective in actually getting the red out for a long period of time. Finally, let's talk about something called a subconjunctival hemorrhage. This is probably one of the most common problems that I see um, when it comes to having a sudden onset red eye. This eye problem can make the eye very, very red and bloodshot all of a sudden, and it is almost never associated with any pain. Patients will often come in and give a history that they woke up and their eye was bloodshot red and they don't know why. Sometimes it can happen because again, they may have been accidentally rubbing their eye or maybe they were doing some heavy weight lifting the day before. Also, if you've had a coughing fit or other types of straining or the Valsalva maneuver, that can also lead to a subconjunctival hemorrhage. Now, although the eye may look extremely red or even bloody, these patients almost never have any pain. Luckily, this eye problem will go away on its own, but it can take two to three weeks to resolve. Now, if a patient is on a blood thinner like aspirin or Plavix, it might take even longer to resolve. Now, while having a subconjunctival hemorrhage is usually not a cause for concern and is more cosmetically annoying than anything else, it is important to discuss with your doctor because if you are repeatedly having these, your primary care doctor may wanna run certain blood tests to make sure that there's no issues with clotting in your body. And of course, you should see your eye doctor as well. 
Hope you found this video helpful. Remember to subscribe below. And if you have any further questions, be sure to put them in the comments and I can make a future video about it. Thanks for watching.